Hello fellow patriots, we're here today and uh, I come to see a good friend of mine, uh, Nick. He's a true patriot. He's been awake since... Uh... Well Nick, how long have you been awake? Well, I was, uh, started learning about this, uh, the patriot movement, when I was a little kid at the gun shows, but as far as really being awake, I, I didn't really wake up until I met a friend of mine who hijacked Kennedy whiskey trucks and that was in 1970 and 71 and uh, uh, he woke me up as to what the Zionists were and what was going on with the bankers and their plan with the eugenics and all that sort of thing. Right, right and uh, just just to preface this interview uh, would you say that, that they've actually uh, had some victory a certain amount of victory and uh, by the way it's the end time watchman uh, that you've had uh, understanding like I have that they've had, a, had an enormous amount of victory as far as their uh, propaganda and mind control goes with uh, people today through the TV and all these different areas? In my opinion I would say that their victory is probably 95 percent complete. Yeah I would say you're absolutely right and uh, you know I want y'all to understand in this interview uh, we have nothing to gain in the monetary value and matter of fact we put ourselves in danger by doing this interview Nick and myself both and many other patriots out there that are doing it but we believe that time is near about up and that we must get this information out and it's pertinent to those that are just waking up and it maybe gives some uh, some more detailed information to those that are already awake and maybe hone their skills and their knowledge of what they need to do before it's too late because when the door shuts uh, the door shut ain't it Nick? It's, once it's closed, there's no returning. Absolutely. Once it's closed, it's closed. And and uh, what what do you think? Uh, what do you think as far as percentage would be uh, as far as those that uh, when this second revolution begins? Of course, you and I know it will because they're pushing us to it because they think that out of chaos they'll bring in that new world order. Of course, and uh, they'll use any means necessary. And uh, with this uh, Mexican collapse and the Mexicans coming up here to start a a war using the gangs in uh, L.A. and uh, New York, and the list goes on and on. But they'll do whatever they they'll do whatever they have to do, in, in my opinion and from research, to bring about this new world order out of chaos. And uh, but what what are your what are your hopes and aspirations on uh, as far as the Patriots uh, getting a victory? Do you believe, as I do, that we can prevail? I think that it's possible for us to prevail. Um, I am uh, hopeful that there are 3% of the American, true American citizens that are patriots. If in fact there's 3%, I, that would mean that we would have approximately 9 million people in the patriot movement or in the constitutional movement and I think that it would be possible for us to prevail in an all-out revolution. Well, that's um, about what we had the first time, ain't it? That is The rest correct. of them sat on the couch and and uh, pretty much didn't do nothing and didn't get involved. They were pretty much standbyers, you know, and, and that's about what we had the first time we prevailed. And, and I know a lot of people, a lot of people to throw this out to me on messages, Nick, they'll say, well, well, they've got the big bombs and they've got this, that, and other. But, you know, what they don't realize, and I try to tell them, you know, uh, they had big bombs in Iraq. But look, hey, and, and, and the Iraqis stood their ground because they fought guerrilla warfare, urban guerrilla warfare, and, and we may have to learn some of that in a hurry, haven't we? I totally agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, guerrilla warfare is going to be, um, that's going to be the order of the day. Absolutely. I, I think that everybody needs to be aware we cannot be on the defensive. Right. If we are on the defensive, we are going to lose. Mm -hmm. We must be on the attack, in my opinion. Right. Rommel said it, Alexander the Great said it, Hannibal said it, uh, Patton said it. There is only three ways to fight a war. Attack, attack, attack. Absolutely. And unless we are on the offensive, we will not, not win. We must be on the attack, totally on the attack. And, and we didn't ask for this, did we? No, we didn't it, do anything to was, provoke this. It was brought to us and served up to us against our will. And so it's about time that we start fighting back. Absolutely, and uh, and uh, and I want you to understand, Nick and I are not promoting any kind of uh, any kind of violence or anything. But what we are promoting is this: that we're not pushed, 
I mean, we're excuse me, we're not pushing anybody, but when we get in the corner, there ain't but one way out, Nick, and that's back at them, is it? That's it. That, that, that's exactly right. And and now, could you uh, could could you speak a little bit to the subject of uh, of these people that try to live like the Joneses still, and and maybe we can wake some of them up and let them know that number one, in my opinion, if they got the wherewithal and the finances, they better get out of them big cities, hadn't they? Because it's going to start there, ain't it? Yes, I I unfortunately believe that it's going to start incrementally and it's going to be uh, started primarily by food riots mm -hmm. and lack of provisions. Absolutely. And uh, in the big cities and the the city people will find out in very short order, probably within a week to two weeks, once rioting and lack of provisions um, uh, come to pass, that they will be end up eating things like their dogs, their cats, their parrots, etc., and eventually it'll resort to cannibalism. Absolutely. And when people start seeing this, they are going to spread out to the country to try to take what the country people have. But country people in general um, are more prepared and aware of what's coming, primarily because they don't have, they're not living in a world of electronic soup. Right. And uh, so they have a tendency to be a little bit more aware in general. And... I think that there is a lot more patriot class of people that live in the country, and so we probably have a better chance. And and, and let me interject this, and they're more and they're more dependent upon each other rather than the government, right? Exactly. You know, my, uh, well, like for an example, I have three neighbors. My neighbor, and we're all about 750 yards or so apart. My three neighbors, and all three of my neighbors hire me to take care of their property and their animals mm -hmm. and they consequently they bring me food on a regular basis like a dozen eggs and on every other day um, uh, game meat or whatever uh, you know I have other friends that live in my area not directly they might bring me roadkill meat and, and uh, or I make ammunition for some people etc right you know and we just kind of watch out for each other and take care of each other and make sure each other has what they need, you know, or inform people, uh, our neighbors and uh, patriot friends. And, uh, you know, so when uh, something comes around, maybe I don't need it, but maybe you do, so right. I'll tell you about it. And it's just like a big family, ain't it? Yes. Uh, that's exactly right. And, and I got to tell you that uh, I've been promoting that on videos I've done about getting out of the city and... And, uh, of course, there are a lot of others that are a lot more intelligent than me on, on uh, some of this stuff. But that's exactly right, Nick. We had better we had better start now. Time you listen to this video that Nick and I are making to put out the American people, you better start. Uh, and y'all know I've been doing this uh, networking. My wife's trying to get all this stuff together and putting out the flyers and all. But I'm telling you, we, better, we had better have a sit-down face-to-face just like Nick and I are doing today. You'd better find you somebody in your area, and you better start sitting down with them, and you better start realizing their skills, their attributes, what they have, and what you have, and what you have to offer to each other, even on a even on a one on one basis, and and promote that into ten to twenty if if it's available. Uh, do you agree with that, Nick? Absolutely. I, the spirit of 1776 must be rekindled. Absolutely. And right now, uh, what we're doing here, we're having this little conversation and get together is something that probably took place in the 1740s, the 1760s, etc. People talked about revolution, they talked about defending, fighting against the king, and unjust taxation, and all the government powers. And what we're doing is repeating history. It's just a lot more high-tech now. That's right. And, and That's right. And, I, 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 you know, he said that high-tech thing, you know, they can have all the high-tech stuff they want to, but, you know, I mean, you can't, you you cannot destroy the spirit of an American patriot. It ain't gonna happen. You might kill his body, but his spirit lives on. And I gotta tell you, I was laying in the bed last night, and we're about out of time on this one. We're gonna do a part two, but just what he said. Uh, I, I was laying there thinking, you know, we we got to get together with people. We we, we like-minded people. I'm not talking about trolls or moles. We need to be aware of them, don't we, Nick? But That's for sure. but uh, we need to start getting together one on one. You know, without the cell phones and all that garbage, just sit down and have a chat and. And you know, debrief each other on intelligence of what you know and what you know, and and I mean, do a you got to do a real time basis. You got to get them LPCs to go in, leather personnel carriers, get them moving. And uh, we're out of part one. We're gonna do a part two. I don't know how many parts we're gonna do, but y'all just hang on.